dear students i hope uh, you all people are fine and my today's video i'm gonna demonstrate you about some latin elements so there are so many elements uh, which have some greek or latin origin in my last part of this video i will <coughs> let you know about that how many elements these are so if we just talk about the first group uh, there are two elements which have uh, some latin names and uh, the name for these two elements are something like uh, Natrium for Sodium and uh, Calium for Potassium Students, in group 2 there is no element uh, which possesses any kind of uh, Latin name. In the same way group 3 has no element which has some Latin name or Greek name. So group 4 has the same category. Group 5 also do doesn't possess any kind of element with Latin or Greek name. So if we just talk about group 6, there we have an element which is uh, which starts from uh, which symbolizes as W. It is known as a tungsten. But uh, its Latin name is Wolfram. So there we have another element with the Latin origin, name origin. And uh, let's talk about a bit more elements. If we just talk about group 7, nothing at all. We don't have any element with Latin or Greek name. But in group 8, we have iron. Its name is something like iron. But we have a symbol like Fe. So we have a name for it that is ferrum as, as you have seen in the in the thumbnail of this video. Okay, so if we just talk about group 9, there is no element uh, with any kind of uh, Latin name in group 9. And if we just talk about uh, group 10, group 10 also uh, never possess any kind of a Latin Greek named element. So then we move towards group number 11. We have students the three elements which you got some symbols like this. So dear students, uh, Cu stands for cuprum. You must remember this. Ag stands for argentum. You also must remember this. And Au start for Au stand for aurum. So aurum have a Latin name gold, have a Latin, uh, Latin name aurum, silver have a Latin name argentum, and copper have a Latin name cuprum. So remember these ones. So let's move towards the group, group number 12. So in group 12, we have an element named as the mercury. And uh, students, we have a, a you know Latin name for this element as well. So this is basically hydrogyrum. So this is another latin named element so let's move toward group number 13 group number 13 doesn't have any latin named element student if we talk about group number 14 we have two elements which have some latin name that is basically tin and lead now you will be thinking tin and lead uh okay so let me write the names tin lead tin do have a name that has a Stenum and lead have a name as plumber. So remember these two guys as well. So group number 15 doesn't have any kind of a, a you can say a Latin named element or Greek named element. Group number 16 also doesn't possess any kind of Latin Greek named elements. So as group number 17 and 18 and now you are thinking about lanthanide 14 element series or actinide 14 element series in those groups uh, we don't have any any kind of latin named element or greek named element symbolized so whatever the symbols are of their original names so students this was the story so as i told you that in the end of my video i'm gonna let you know about how many latin named elements are there so let's count them one two three okay so there we have four five six 
सेवन एट नाइन टेन सो टिल नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टेन एलिमेंट्स but i i really want to need uh, add some one element to group number 15 that is sb right that is sb sb is basically antimony in 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 really normal words but it is basically stevium so that's why it have a symbol of sb stevium So it is basically antimony. So the total number of elements which are lit and named are eleven in the periodic table. So that is a figure, which is the right answer for this question. That how many elements of periodic table are named in Latin or Greek language? So there are total eleven number of elements. So hope so students, this video might bring you kind of information regarding the lit named elements. Thank you so much for watching.